Johnny Nelson fighting uh, Christophe Girard, who comes from Champagne country in France, Rouen Latin in central France. Same age, very experienced. What kind of challenge can he put up in this Johnny Nelson's fourth defense? Nelson in the white and unbeaten now in nearly four years since he lost to Adelson Rodriguez in Brazil. Nelson's last defense on the Felix Trinidad de la Hoya bill at Litzy Night in Las Vegas. And I'm sure he's playing to more people here than he did there when he was first on and the arena was virtually empty. Girard with the reputation of being pretty confident. He lost a European title fight earlier on this year. Alexander Ely and he was stopped in the 10th round that night. No Nelson's not known as a huge puncher, I just wonder with this extra weight he has, best part of half a stone, whether Girard might just struggle a bit. What do you think then? Yes, I, I think he will. I think he's given away too many physical advantages to Nelson. And Nelson is a very sharp puncher, very tall, very long. And, yeah, I think it's quite a hurtful puncher. Well, he has flirted up at heavyweight as well, Nelson. But a great chip. Girard's not known as a puncher himself, so if he's going to win Girard, you'd think that he'd have to outbox Nelson, and that's not easy to do. So he's got good speed and reflexes and fast hands, Nelson as well. To beat him, you have to start putting him under some intense pressure. Yes, and I think you do need to be a pretty hard puncher to get Nelson's respect. And Girard waves in for the first time, not to be throwing a few of the inside of the glove as he did so. Nelson dominating center ring looking to pick off Girard with the occasional jab as the Frenchman circles. Quiet opening round. Nelson's dominated it really behind his jab without having to do anything very spectacular. A kind of first gear domination. Yes, you are showing Nelson an awful lot of respect, just circling the ring, out of range. And Nelson just allowed to control the, the fight from the center of the ring. Good work with the jab. Occasionally, Girard 
goes on a little assault adventure, but uh, to no real about. Nelson's round. On a stretcher. He won, but he left in a stretch on a stretcher. Here's round two. Johnny Nelson defending his WBO cruiserweight title. That's the World Boxing Organization, if you don't know what the initials stand for. The purple of Christophe Girard, the Frenchman. Nelson at some point, and maybe quite soon, will look to do just more than pick off Girard with the jab. Girard's looking a little bit negative, almost as if he's phased by the experience of being here at the moment. Yes, he did. I mean, he looks uh, a little bit like a, a rabbit under the headlights. He just looks a, a bit startled by it all, and you know, circling around the ring, needs to start doing a little more than he is. He's not exactly come out fired up and straining at the leash and looking to make a statement, Girard, here. Maybe his plan, though, is to just get through the first part of the fight and get himself into the fight and then start to work from there. So let's just see what develops first. Let's not jump to too many conclusions early on. scarcely have been out of the gym for a day, you would think. Well, I think he's the, the type that will always be in the gym. He's very fit. Yeah, but last year he only had one fight. I'm back. Just sure he'll have been spent a lot of time in the gym, hasn't he? Good right hands. Starting to move a little more easily and less stiffly. But not doing that much yet, the Frenchman. But Nelson on board, you know, he's dominant from center ring. He's not really you know, committing himself either. You know, I think that obviously with the negativity of Girard, you know, he really should just walk forward and start throwing some punches. Nelson coping easily so far. A good right hand head shot from Nelson. Just throwing that in a little bit of an arc, but a good one landed there. And here's round three. Nelson white trunks, remember? The purple of Christophe Girard. Reputation of being a sturdy boxer who can usually go the distance. His younger brother Bruno Girard was European super middleweight champion. And he's lined up, in fact, for a world title shot with the WBA holder at that weight, Brian Mitchell. So boxing very much in the family, as it is with the Tiozzos, of course, in France. strategy is to give it plenty of side-to-side -side movement, get in with little clusters of punches and then get away again, but he's not really succeeding in that mission at the moment, is he? No, he's coming up with you know, what seems to be like a look for a surprise attack with lots of movement in the meantime, but I not seem that great a plan. some heavier punches, doesn't land with the rope. Has it been a great sporting day for France so far, you might have noticed. Reference events at Cardiff this afternoon in the World Rugby Cup Final.
Maybe they can settle the arguments over the beep in there as well. well a little better from Girard, just trying an attack with nothing that Nelson can't handle. You feel with the movement of Girard, Nelson's starting to grow more and more in confidence. He's looming, it seems, over Girard in terms of a presence out there in the middle of the ring all the time. Girard is having to cover so much ground, and as he does so, he's really doing a lot of effective work. Attempted pressure from Girard, but how many of those landed? Not an especially workmanlike effort, it must be said from Johnny Nelson though in this round, just pacing himself. Not landing with any of those jabs. I know, 800-888. Thank you, Paul. Back in the ring, the fourth round, as Johnny Nelson defends his WBO cruiserweight title here in the white trunks, the tall man from Sheffield who's built his career after so many setbacks, including losing his first three fights. He admits he had no natural ability when he first started boxing at the age of 14 and pays full some praise for the work of Brendan Ingle. And he hasn't split up with Ingle. Girard so far has been very disappointing, it has to be said. He's slapping a lot with his punches when he does come forward, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's slapping with them and their arm punches. Now, you know, just, uh, the physical advantage just seems far too much for Girard. You know, he's struggling to find a way in. You know, he's trying to move an awful lot and then these little surprise attacks. But Nelson has very good reflexes. So it's a, a very difficult job for Girard. of Tonga in Las Vegas, though we didn't see him at the time. Oh, that's a great right hand. Nelson there. Super punch. Nelson and Shira. Up with the count at seven. Glassy punch. Saw the gap. Let it go. There's a breakthrough here for Johnny Nelson. In the fourth. Girard is struggling, definitely on his bike. How strong are his legs though? How much is that taken out of him? He's almost doing 100 meters in there. Well, he's just trying to clear his head. The corner of Girard's almost ready to jump in the ring after their man. He's really standing right on the ring apron. Good again by a left hand and a right uppercut, that hurt Girard as well, and he goes down from it again, thought about it, talks to his corner man, looks in trouble, he's going to struggle to get through this, you feel, pissed off Girard, counts eight, is he going to get up, no he doesn't get up, he just stayed down, I think his nose might have been broken by the uppercut, or something like that, he was badly injured, but Nelson has defended his title with a stoppage in the fourth round, it all started with a right hand for the first knockdown, turned up the heat, and in no time he had got rid of Christophe Girard, who didn't actually seem very interested in wanting to go on, did he? He didn't. I think he'd been hurt by the, the sharp punches of Nelson. He had enough. I think you know, when he went down, he got over. He wasn't quite with it. He was searching around for his corner. And then I think the final punches may well have done some serious nose damage because he, he rubbed his nose and waved his head and he just did not want to go on. That was the first punch, a right hand. And on the side of the head. He was giving away too much weight apart from everything else, wasn't he? Yes, he just right. didn't have the, the physical size to deal with somebody like Nelson, who is a very big cruiserweight. He's searching for his corner there. He was hurt by this punch. Good right hand. And we have to say as well, Glenn, he was giving away too much talent as well. Oh, uh, very much so. I mean, he really is just not at this level. And 
and uh, Jon Nelson made it look that way. Did Darius Mikoshevsky have a broken leg or something the night that Girard lasted the distance with him? Well, I think, you know, we've got to say that Nelson is, is much improving. You know, he's coming on, he's getting confidence, and, you know, he's, he's very good now. So much more mentally mature from those days a decade or so ago. That was he the, was uh, really struggling. Sorry, and that was the right uppercut, which I think caused some... Um, nose down she's dabbing at it then i think he well could have a, a broken nose from that punch there's a conversation with the corner i think they took the decision there not to get up they just let the count run to 10 and stay down yes he's pointing to his nose to the referee there and i think definitely you know, he decided that was enough he was too badly hurt from that punch johnny nelson still the champion still earning and still thinking of big fights.